A few days ago, Unitree launched a new robot version that costs just $5,900, becoming one of the cheapest humanoid robots one can get today. And we want to talk about its features fully and in detail so that you know what you are getting at this price. We know that, in the previous video we posted, some people are claiming that it might be CGI, especially since Unitree indicated in the demo video that the final product might look different than what was in the demo. And we're going to explain why that is. Later on, we will also be making a full comparison video between the new R1 base model robot and the Unitree G1 base model that costs $16,000, so keep an eye out for that. Just like with the previous models, Unitree's new R1 robot comes in multiple iterations. The base model is priced at $5,900, but if you want more advanced features, you'll be looking at the R1 EDU version, which will cost significantly more. Just to give some perspective, the Unitree G1's base model is priced at $16,000. But after US tariffs, it goes up to around $27,300. And the most advanced version of the G1, which is the EDU Ultimate CU6, costs over $73,900 post tariffs. This is as of now, or let me say as of today. That is in case you are buying from the US. And in between there are other G1 models, about five different versions, that cost between $42,000 and less than $70,000, including the version that Kai Sanat bought, costing $66,000. So you can see how Unitree has developed this business model where they roll out multiple iterations of the same robot to try and offer something for every type of customer. So that we are all on the same page, the features I'm about to give you are for the base model of the Unitree R1 robot, the one that costs $5,900 and not the EDU version. To start with, the R1 measures 1,210 millimeters in height, 357 millimeters in width, and 190 millimeters in thickness. That's approximately 47.6 inches tall, 14 inches wide, and 7.5 inches thick. That makes it small smaller than the G1 and roughly the same size as the Booster T1, which by the way, won the 2025 Robot Football World Cup, also known as RoboCup. Given those dimensions, it's clear that the actual product will be much shorter and more compact than the robot featured in the promo video. That's the reason Unitree included a disclaimer stating that the final product will look different. For some unknown reason, Unitree tends to use adult size robots in their marketing videos, but what actually gets shipped out is more like a kid-sized version. This was also the case with the Unitree G1. The good thing is that they always provide a spec sheet on their website, which shows the actual dimensions of the robot. But what you see in the demos is usually much taller and more imposing than what ends up at your doorstep. Or maybe it could be just the camera angle that the demo videos are taken from, making the robot look taller and bigger. So because the R1 is smaller in size, it also weighs much less. This unit weighs 25 kilograms, which is even lighter than the Booster T1 that weighs around 30 kilograms. And as expected, fewer joints are used to keep costs down. The R1 comes with 26 degrees of freedom, which is a robotics term for the number of joints. It has six in each leg, five in each arm, two for waist movement, and two for head movement. For the vision system, I think you already know that you only have two ways, either the Tesla way or the rest of the world approach. So because of the price, they did not go with the expensive LiDAR systems and instead chose the Tesla approach. The R1 uses a binocular camera setup with an ultra wide angle field of view. It's a cheaper but effective method, especially for a robot in this price range. To cut costs further, Unitree did not include dexterous hands in the base model. If you look at the hands, they're frozen in a fixed and clenched fist position, and the fingers don't move, which means it can't grasp or manipulate objects. So don't expect it to help you with carrying any grocery bags. But if you're willing to pay extra, you can upgrade to a model with functional dexterous hands that could grasp objects, wave to your neighbors, and even shake hands with them. As for power, the R1 is equipped with a lithium battery, which according to their website, provides a runtime of about one hour. So basically, as with most battery specs, this means in real life usage, you should expect that to be a little less. The robot also features both hollow and internal electrical routing. This design allows the cables to run through the center of the input-output shaft, which maintains a slim external profile and simplifies mechanical design and makes the assembly process more efficient. Cooling is handled by local air cooling, which is more than enough for a robot of this size and capability. However, when it comes to computing power, you're not getting an NVIDIA Jetson Orin here. That would drive up the cost significantly. Instead, the R1 runs on a basic computing module with an 8-core CPU and an unspecified GPU. In terms of joint encoders, Unitree is using a mix of single and dual encoders. Without going too deep into the technical side, single encoders are typically installed on the motor shaft or an intermediate part of the drivetrain to measure position or angle. But now they do have limitations. 
mainly that they can't detect mechanical inaccuracies like backlash, gear elasticity, or wear, which can lead to less precise control or even vibrations. This can create a mismatch between what the encoder says and what the robot arm is actually doing. Dual encoders, on the other hand, use two sensors per joint, one on the motor shaft and another at the joint's output shaft after the reducer. This setup gives a real, accurate reading of the joint's position and helps eliminate errors. The benefits include improved precision and stability, better fault tolerance and higher resolution, which is why they are mostly used in high-performance, precision-focused robots like collaborative robots, medical robotics, and semiconductor manufacturing arms. Just like with the previous versions of Unitree, the R1 is tele-operated, or if I am to use a term that most of you are familiar with, so that you don't keep asking if it's AI or remote controlled, the robot is remote controlled. But the good thing is, it comes with the support of over-the-air updates to keep its software up to date. This means once Unitree launches autonomy, you will just download it and do an update from your home. It also comes with an eight-month warranty, but it's important to remember that this is the base model, and as such, it does not support secondary development. If you're looking to program or build custom applications on top of it, you'll need to opt for the EDU version, which will cost you more. The R1 is also fitted with a four microphone array for voice interaction. Let's get this party started. I'll play a song and do a little dance for you. For those unfamiliar, a four mic linear array allows for basic voice commands and interaction, and is commonly used in AI and voice controlled devices. It also has dual speakers rated at three watts each, meaning you'll be able to hear it reply clearly using the pre-installed large language model that Unitree uses for its robots. In terms of connectivity, it is handled by Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2, giving it strong wireless capabilities. The maximum torque of the robot's arm joints is rated at two kilograms, and the joint output bearings use cross roller bearings combined with double hook ball bearings. When it comes to the joint motors, Unitree is sticking with what has worked for them in the G1. They are using low inertia, high-speed internal rotor PMSM motors, permanent magnet synchronous motors, which offer better response speed and improved heat dissipation. The payload capacity of the robot is not listed, but it should be around 2 kilograms as well. The robot also comes with a smart battery system that features a quick-release mechanism, making battery replacement fast and easy. Given the limited runtime of about one hour that we mentioned earlier, Unitree has made it possible to purchase additional batteries, which might go beyond the initial $5,900 price point. That is, if you want to have some extra batteries around, which, let's be honest, they are crucial. These can be swapped out on the go, allowing you to keep the robot running with minimal downtime. One important detail is that the battery charging is done separately, outside of the robot, meaning the battery has to be removed in order to recharge it. If the R1 had a self-replacing battery system, like the one seen in the Walker S, it would have added an interesting layer of convenience. But remember, this robot isn't autonomous yet, so it wouldn't be able to replace its own battery even if the feature existed. In addition to its mechanical and hardware capabilities, the Unitree R1 is also equipped with a built-in large language model akin to ChatGPT. This means you're not just limited to giving it pre-programmed commands, you can also engage in natural, open-ended conversations with it. Similar to how you'd talk to ChatGPT or Google's Gemini, you can ask it questions, have it explain things, or even just have a casual chat. However, due to the robot's limited onboard computing power, it lacks high-end chips, like NVIDIA's Jetson Orin. You should expect some noticeable delay in its responses. Still, having that capability baked into a $5,900 humanoid robot is impressive and definitely pushes the boundary of what's possible in affordable robotics today. Overall, the Unitree R1 base model is designed and built to give casual users and entry-level enthusiasts a chance to experience a humanoid robot at an affordable price. It's a clever move from Unitree to dominate the market by offering an affordable entry for most people into humanoid robots through making some compromises to hit that $5,900 price tag. Most casual users will buy them. It's smaller, lighter, and lacks some premium features like dexterous hands and advanced AI processing. But for hobbyists on a budget, it's a solid starting point. See you in the next one and stay safe.